everyone. <laughs> Welcome to this interview with the wonderful Imke from Flowers with a Message. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> nice to be here. Oh, thank you so much for being here, Imke. Um, I mean, actually, I have only met Imke once before, and I already told you just before uh, with your mom that I was instantly just in love with you, your energy, <laughs> and you're just such an uh. amazing sunshine. And on top of that, you are such a fascinating person and I would love to hear more about your work, Flowers with a Message, because uh, we'll be talking about flower reading. And so actually, we already start here with the flowers. So yes. you just told me that you picked these in your own garden. Yes, they're uh, fresh. I picked them this morning from the garden and, um, you know, the, the hyacinths and um, Yes, uh, so I, 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 I live in Belgium and I have a, I have a beautiful uh, flower garden and um, I love flowers. I've always loved flowers and um, through the years I've learned uh, to work with flowers. I can, I can sense their energy and at the moment when I started to really feel so much comfort from flowers, I thought, because I was doing an, uh, a course, um, um, a, a, a counseling, a coaching court, uh, course, uh, Enneagram, but it has nothing to do with, with this actually. Wow. But then I started to, to integrate, to, to bring flowers. Uh, I asked the clients to bring a flower. Oh, wow. And um, it came very naturally. And um, this is actually what I do now, but I, wow. I invented it myself and wow. I do workshops now and I ask also people to bring a flower and then they come with a flower and um, it makes them kind of feel more comfortable because I don't ask directly, so how are you, what brings you here or what is your problem or whatever, but no, I, I look at the flower wow. and the flower functions as a, as a bridge mm -hmm. from your heart to my heart. I, um, I pick up the energy of the client, the person sitting in front of me, through the flower. Wow. But the actual shape and um, uh, when I look at the petals, the stem, the leaves, everything tells something about the person sitting in front of me. And it's very, very special. It's very hard to explain because every person is different uh, so is every flower and so is every story wow. and um, this is how I um, how I work and then in my coaching it's actually it works like what I do I guide the client kind of to to face his view towards the the right light Wow. to see to be able to see more clearly what is going on in their life wow that really makes me think of the sunflowers like that they, they turn they, they yeah. turn towards the sun yes now. yes so you really shed light on your clients life and perhaps yes. personality yeah and therefore they're able to see more clearly what is going on and the the beautiful thing is with the flowers the flower only reveals that what needs to be revealed, wow. shown, in that right moment in time. Only what is necessary. Wow. You That's know, really because we, we cannot do all at once. No. There's a moment for, there's a right moment for everything. Yeah. And um, that is so beautiful about this natural process. Yeah. It's like becoming a flower, you know, wow. the whole process. The whole blossoming even yeah. of a flower. Yes, step wow. by step. That's so beautiful. Nothing blossoms all year. <laughs> ah, that's also very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I've never thought of that. And how did you, because I actually, I mean, I read your story and I love that you were already so in tune with, with nature, being a little girl with your parents, going out in nature and enjoying already the flowers. And that somehow, you know, like sometimes, because I feel so many people have ex that experience that we have certain hobbies, we enjoy certain things, but they all seem really disconnected. And for you, for you, it's also been incredible how that all came together, that passion for nature, the flowers, your coaching. And so when you start working, what are like, now you've worked with more clients, what have been 
the biggest like insights for you uh, from this experience by having literally collected and enveloped all of your passions? Well, I, I think mainly, first of all, I've, I've been really blessed, you know, to find my true passion and to find my, um, yeah, actually, and to be able to work with that. I used to be very, very overly sensitive, you know, pick up the energies of, of many, many friends and people, but it was disturbing to me. And uh, now I've learned how to canalize that, you know, and work with people and to be able to help them. And the most incredible insight, actually, um, but I still have the insights on a daily basis, you know, um, is that by connecting to nature, by connecting to um, flowers, is that I, I realize that each flower, each tree comes from a seed. Now, when we have seeds, and I, I often think of when you have a clean tablecloth and you set the table and, you know, there are some seeds on the table, then, well, I would be tend to, you know, just blow them away because it's in the way, you know, it covers the nice <laughs> white linen tablecloth. But, oh my God, no, but there are seeds, you know, how can I blow them away? They have actual a potential of a whole wow. life inside. You know, wow. so that one seed, once we put it in the in the soil, in the right earth and we we, we feed it well, there starts a whole life to to grow and to 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 blossom. Yeah. And um, so therefore, I also realize that all potential talents, you know, everything we have inside, mm -hmm. inside of us. And therefore, um, our external world um, is not becomes less and less important. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me what is the biggest insight is okay. There are many insights, you know, but mainly that I realize that it's so important to to go inside and really, really feel and sense what is going on in my in internal world yeah, wow. and to feed that well. And I've also learned, and that's also a big insight, that actually my slogan is let's embrace our shit <laughs> and grow from it <laughs> because every flower I mean if I look around you know then all the flowers they they settle into the dark soil there are ants there are worms you know that's not it, it wouldn't be so pleasant if I would go with my hat you know just straight in the soil I would go like oh no 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 this is not so nice but it's actual it's the food wow. for us <laughs> to live from you know well for the flowers but I see it as a metaphor for our life that we and us human beings we tend to move away from uh, the dark things in our life mm -hmm. so the earth the soil stands for our obstacles our hur hurdles uh, the painful things in life mm -hmm the things that really irritates us you know mm -hmm. and um, but we forget that if this is thrown on our path you know it's my path if you have an obstacle it's on your path otherwise mm -hmm. it, it, it's not on my path so it's not my obstacle so what do you do with it is it for somebody else no it's for me <laughs> so this in the the dark soil in, includes this whole mm. n the negative situations in our life yeah. and the negative situations we tend to to yeah to walk away from yeah, yeah? because there's pain involved mm. often mm. and Again, we human beings are the best in avoiding pain because we don't like pain. 
you know, when it's painful, no, rather not, you know. Mm. But if we realize this is here for me to teach me something, it's part mm. of my my um, um, my my um, nourish, uh, you know, to nourish me, to feed mm. me. You know, it's food for my soul to grow, which mm -hmm. is the same as with the flower. It's so you know, rooted in the soil. Wow. Um, and if you're able to use that as food, yeah. so not identifying with the painful part, but focusing on that it is here, this obstacle, this hard situation, you know, that what I run into, uh, the wall, you know, it's here to tell me something, to teach me something, then what is it? And then mm -hmm. try to distance yourself and just have a look. Like, what is this telling me? What is actually the food? How can I nourish myself with this situation? Then mm -hmm. it's like you, you, you kind of, you twist your focus, mm -hmm. you know? Instead of focusing, oh, this is bad, this is dark, this yeah. is moist, this is blah, 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 this is not for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is there for you because it's right in front of you. <laughs> so you better deal with it. Mm -hmm. But it's, there's not only dark soil, there's also the light. And look, today we have beautiful <laughs> sun. <laughs> and if you look at the flowers, they do everything <laughs> to go and to grow towards yeah. that light. But if you, if, if you take them out of the soil, soil they will die mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the best example is the lotus flower you know the lotus flower is 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 always rooted into the mud oh, really it only survives in muddy water oh wow i didn't know <laughs> yes and it seeds and blossoms at the same time wow oh that's very special I didn't so even be know careful that. what you think <laughs> yeah. because you know every thought Every, everything mm. is directly a seed planted mm, yes. into the, you know, universe. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this makes sense to you, Perfectly but sense. Um, it, it sounds complex, but in a way it's not. Oh, I absolutely love what you just shared, uh, my dear Imke, and I think it's so beautiful, these metaphors, and it's, for me personally, it's so eye-opening, like I had never heard of uh, flower readings, I had never even thought so much about how we literally can learn and use, you know, nature and flowers as a tool to gain more insight and clarity in ourselves. And actually there was one thing that really uh, stood out to me, what you just mentioned, with the, that you have the seeds that also blossom. Because I, as a health coach, I always tell my clients that, you know, they will never talk to anyone as much uh, in this world as to themselves, so mentally. <laughs> mm. And so I always tell them, become aware of what is your inner dialogue? What are you actually, um, kind of what are the seeds that you are putting on your table that may sprout in, in the future? So also with your work, you also mentioned um, that you use the flowers and your therapy also to really help women um, on their journey to more self-love. And how have you seen that the flowers can also be really valuable in that process? Yeah, that's a beautiful question. <laughs> and I think a very important one. Um, you know, I... Well, I realize now, um, working a lot with the flowers and the people and the clients, um, that what is it what makes a flower so special? <laughs> it is that a flower just grows. A flower just is. A flower accepts that all that what is given to it mm -hmm. sunshine rain hail storm um, what well, you name it <laughs> anything you yeah. know <laughs> it doesn't judge who can have a look at the flower you know yeah. whether there it doesn't matter men woman dark, yellow, white, you know, it, it, <laughs> it wouldn't judge like who is looking at me, you know, it can, I can look at these flowers, you can look at the flowers, everybody is able to watch these beautiful blossoms. And um, 
So in the in that process of just being, being in the flow, um, it's accepting itself. And I think that is such a wonderful thing to remember that accepting mm. ourselves um, is very important, you know, in the mm. self-love process. But it's also accepting itself. Now, what is that? Okay, so how do we do that? We can look at a flower and then, but if, if I'm struggling with something, you know, some issues, some body issues or some other issues, you know, um, it's, it's, very, it's very hard. But um, to focus on the energy of that flower, we, we have tools, you know, I use them in my workshops to, to be able to go inside and connect uh, with ourselves, to connect within. Mm -hmm. And to just to realize that, okay, I'm talking about myself now, that I am here, I'm actually here. I'm a gift from the universe, I'm, I'm a God's gift, you know? Yeah. You are as well, every human being is. And mm -hmm. to realize that um, we are that miracle and that we are in, in that space, we are all one. Um, to really realize that we can embrace ourselves and if we embrace ourselves as being a miracle the self-worthiness of giving yourself permission to live a good life is given mm. and that is so it's it sounds so simple, but it's so profound. It's so deep, you know. I do it every morning when I wake up, you know. First thing, I thank, you know, everything, every everything possible mm -hmm. that, okay, I am here. I'm, I'm, I'm here. It's, it's a gift, you know. And how do I want my day to be, to be the best version of myself? How do I live? And I think that's also a form of respect towards yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's again embracing myself within that space, within myself, accepting me for who I am, um, is self-love. Wow. And um, But it's very, like I say, it's it's also it's very fragile. It's very profound. It's very it's so deep. Um, it it doesn't come over one night. Mm. Um, but I think it's the most important thing in life. And coming back to the flower, the flower represents that in such a beautiful way, such a beautiful mm. way. It's there. It shows. It's coming out of the dark soil. It just grows and grows. And finally, it, it shows its ultimate love by showing its beauty. Mm. And wouldn't it be wonderful if we can all live that way? Yeah. I to be totally ourselves, you know? <laughs> to not... Um, self sabotage our lives anymore you know what, what we all do i mean i've i've, I've done it you know and uh, therefore i know it's you know mm -hmm. what it's like to not be doing it yes yeah well i really love it like how it, how you also phrase it so well that there's so much power in being and how there's so much power also actually now you're telling uh, yeah you're sharing this i realized like a flower would never adjust or like try to please anyone. It's not like, oh, I'll show this color for this person and this color for this person. No, I am <laughs> what I am. And I actually feel that that is for, for us uh, literally a step by step process. So I can also yeah. imagine with your work, it's literally bit by bit that revealing of like, you know, also peeling off layer after layer and actually going deeper. Um, what you also mentioned before, it, it will only be a you know, you only reveal a certain part, whatever is right in that moment. And I mm -hmm. can imagine in the future, there will be more 
and yes. that is kind of part of the uh, healing process. Yes, yes, it is. And therefore, you know, each time will be different because we're all evolving, you know. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, one flower blossoms and then it perishes and then it often seeds and then a new one comes, you know, mm -hmm. shows its beauty. And therefore, it's also our life evolving, you know. Mm -hmm different talents, different stages and um, taking of layers in order to finally, truly, well, really get to ourselves, you know, and connect to ourselves and be ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I just love it and it makes me giggle, especially because we tend to be so much on a search for trying to find happiness, trying to reach success, trying to, and it's all so externally focused. So yes. it's just beautiful for me um, to listen to you and actually realize that from the flowers that we go, we were literally learning also to go within and realize that everything we're looking for out there yeah. is actually already yeah. there, but it's yeah. such a challenge for us to find the true essence because yeah, we don't know yes. how to no, access it's, it. It's and, 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 and it's hard, you know, because we are triggered <laughs> 24 hours a day. We are all the time. <laughs> but yes, I, 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 this is also one of my insights. I, I found out that everything that I am searching for, everything that I am longing for, maybe it's love, recognition, you know, uh, being able to, to be seen, to be heard, you know, mm -hmm. everything. Hey, I have it all here. I have it all <laughs> inside, you know? It doesn't mean mm. we don't need other people, but we don't depend on that, mm. you know? Mm. Of course we need people. We're people, yeah. you know? I'm a people person. I love people. <laughs> yeah. And, but my external world, at least this is what I'm focused on, you know, doesn't define who I am. Mm. My internal world does mm -hmm. and this is key it doesn't mean life um, will go smooth <laughs> but there's still some shit <laughs> yes the there will be lots of <laughs> shit yeah there That's will be ev even more <laughs> shit but you know what there's less suffering mm -hmm. wow the, the the tough edges will become more smooth mm. and every time and time again we're able to come back to this this is this is our base mm. this is where we find our trust our love and that's why mm. it's called self-love mm. wow. you know and then that conversation what you talk about in your head will be also more soft and soft yeah that's a uh, I love everything that you're sharing and also you have shared so many wonderful insights um, and I think yeah it's it's beautiful and especially like with the yeah embracing the shit that comes on your path mm -hmm. <laughs> learning from it evolving uh, developing it's all a process it's literally a healing process step by step yes and I love it how the self-love is again such a foundation whereas yes also to really have that power and the base as a flower where we are in our most powerful state of being mm -hmm. um, and yeah I, I just love actually like being a health coach and working so much about you know topics of emotional eating and and also self-esteem I think it's just so fascinating for me to see how much I can learn from you and from the flowers and your insights mm -hmm. that are actually just completely relevant for for the work I'm doing so yes. it's so yeah. fascinating to see how it's literally like a mirror uh, for me, as you're talking about it, you know, that you can use the, that the flowers as a tool to mirror that back and really support people on this process. Yes. And, yeah. and also, in terms of healing, like how, what does the, the healing part mean to you? Well, actually, the healing part to me, um, when I think about it, healing is also accepting yourself accepting yourself as a whole within the whole you know because 
healing is actually being whole mm. right mm. when you're not whole there's a there's a lack <laughs> yes. and um, but when we know when we experience and there are wonderful uh, tools for that like meditation you know like uh, the workshop that I do you know the flower readings for example in my workshop everything I integrate the meditation I integrate uh, movement dance uh, going into the earth, going, you know, absorbing the negative, using it, bringing it up via the sp spine, you know, in order to, to blossom by visualizing what blossom is your potential, you know, that mm -hmm. where you want to go. Um, they're wonderful tools to, to simulate that. Yeah. And, um, and at that moment is also to connect to that universal space which is wholeness mm. and if we're there and if you're able to let go and I feel you know when I when I meditate I feel like I'm floating you know into space <laughs> and there's no true connection to the to the to the body anymore yeah. you know and that is being whole and I think the healing is within that part the disconnecting mm. of um, yeah, ma material world, mm -hmm. you know, where also emotions are invo involved. And as soon as emotions are, are okay, are great, are uh, great, they can guide, you know, yeah. us perfectly. They tell us, you know, when we are sad or when we are happy or whatever. But when it's painful and we, we identify ourselves with that emotion, mm -hmm. um, it somehow gets stuck mm -hmm. in our body and mm -hmm. we will become it, you know? And, um, and then, uh, if we're talking about healing, um, then we can create things in our body which are not so nice, you know? Mm -hmm. We get a physical discomfort or our back or our neck or whatever, eyesight or, you know, or even worse things that mm -hmm. can happen. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, th I think by connecting to that, oh, the wholeness, the space, the universal space, whatever you can name it, you know, many names, um, is, is very, very important in the mm -hmm. healing process. Mm -hmm. And then healing is, um, to me, feeling, feeling connected feeling whole. I love that. I really like how you're using also that the workplace, um, yeah, especially in Dutch also with healing is healing and heal is whole. Yeah. And I love how, yeah, yeah, that already has shed a different light on that whole process. So I think that's really interesting. And, um, mm. and, and I, yeah, I can imagine that many of the viewers will also really enjoy the metaphors you've used, the wonderful insights the lessons learned and what if people would like to work with you so if they would like to have their own flower reading because you can do both in person but also online and or yeah or i can do a uh, yeah I, ca I can do of course in person i i i, I prefer to, to do in person but um i can also do online it works yes mm -hmm. the energy mm -hmm. you know it, it, it doesn't uh, disturb anything you know mm -hmm. if it's online and um, the workshops, I, I, um, I do, well, it's, it's custom made, mm -hmm. so uh, people can contact me and often, you know, either they, they come from a company or women in a group or they want mm -hmm. to do it for a birthday or something, <laughs> you know, it's really such yeah. a beautiful full thing. And of course, I also work with men, but it's less, you know, it's, mm. it's most often women that, that come but maybe uh, everybody's welcome <laughs> and um, yes of course they, they they can contact me I will, I will yeah. share also your website it's a beautiful website with so many really pretty pictures of you already being so pretty with pretty flowers so it's just a, <laughs> such a wonderful combination and um, is there anything else uh, before we we finish this interview that you would like to share well, first of all, you know, it's, it, it's so nice to, to, to talk about this, you know, because it's, um, yeah, I, pr I prefer this topic. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful. And I, I hope that, um, 
you know, everybody will, um, maybe now when everybody walks, passes a flower, you know, mm. their, their, their view will be a, a, a bit different. And um, just remember that when there is something hard on your way, that um, maybe you can distance yourself for a few seconds and ask yourself, what is it, what will this show me? You know, and yeah, that could be an interesting thing. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful insight, and especially I already love it also to take one step of awareness and also a bit of like time out for yourself to reflect on that. And yeah. especially since we're in this world where we're running and we're so busy, and that we can also take that moment to literally be even mesmerized by the beauty. Of yes. nature and the flowers. Yeah. It's, it's not for nothing that they say stop and smell the roses, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's it's beautiful. Take, it, it, it's taking that, that moment. And, um, you know, it's, it's also for me, you know, I also, also sometimes tend to just like run, run, run. But then I realize, oh my God, yes, wow, <laughs> look. And then just see whatever comes to you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so beautiful. Oh my dear, really, um, it's been such a joy and pleasure to, to be here with you, first of all, <laughs> to you. hear about your amazing work. Um, yes, it's, it's really, like I said, I, for me, it's completely new and I find it so fascinating. And yeah, to be able to have a flower reading by you, who also uses, you know, your intuition, you can use your intuition. and really guide people in their path that is just yeah i think such a gift um to to all of us so thank you so much for everything you're doing and for the amazing work well you know thank you for being with me <laughs> it was a great uh, pleasure yes likewise my dear thank okay. you so so much and also i hope that all of you enjoyed it i'll be sharing the website and all the details so you can uh, contact inca Thank you so much and have a wonderful sunny day full of flowers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.